everyone coming again I'm thinking I'm gonna get it right this time instead of having to turn it all around again now I'll tell you they still did something different with the live because there used to be a countdown so it would say like three two one and then you could like kind of get situated you can see I was pulling out my hair to make sure that I was getting all of this great information for you and I have my little drawings to help <laughs> anyway thank you so much for joining thank you for tuning in yes absolutely there are tips to make sure that you get a psychic reading that's going to be fabulous baby you're paying all that money why would you do you see that spot do you see that that's so cool <laughs> so why would you not want to have a fantastic reading right and if there is stuff that you can do let's just do it so it's going to be marvelous from the get-go right absolutely okay so step number one in order and I have 10 tips for you so hi Tiffany Mwah. I hope everything is going great thank you um, when you are considering going to get a reading remember you might be going just because you want confirmation you're intuitively already knowing what's happening right maybe you're going because you need a little bit of clarification maybe you were suspicious this might be going on or you are hopeful that this might be going on I have rainbows all over my screen no idea <laughs> I, <carry. laughs> um, I did erase the board so it no longer was talking about Amelia Earhart although technically we could still be talking about her anyway let's get back to you and going to have a psychic reading so you are looking for clarification confirmation or just having a good time but it's still your money you want to make sure that you make the most of it right right so step number one there are a couple things we can do before during and after so step number one is before here you go yay oh you can still see my nail ripped off <laughs> I'll do it this hand step number one you're going to set your intentions are you looking for an overall reading are you hoping to get a little bit more fine-tuned now remember readings come in all sorts of time frames and if you've already gone to someone you know they know your personality you know them it's a very comfortable situation but let's say you're gonna go get a reading like at the Renaissance Festival um, maybe it's going to be a psychic fair maybe it's just a whimsical or last minute or a girls night out and you want to make the most of it you don't know that person very well so before you get the reading even if you're just walking around thinking about getting it I want you to number one set your intentions so overall why do you want this reading what are you hoping to gain what specifically are you wanting out of this so I want you to write down two to three questions that really matter to you and then one overall general question that you're gonna make sure that you ask okay and number two oh that's an ink I don't know if you can see it yeah that's my angel drawing <laughs> number two you're going to send your angels ahead so again even if it is just like on this spot send your angels over to talk to their angels and make sure that you're going to get insight that is just for you this is a download from God you have this time right now don't waste it don't waste your money two important things two too many important things matter and when you follow through when you get that confirmation oh my gosh things just happen magnificently for you okay number three win what do I mean by that if you know ahead of time that you're gonna go for a reading set yourself up to win don't be drinking you're gonna just be all off kilter you're not gonna be hearing the message right if you can I want you to go ahead and get some sleep and I know we're not sleeping right Elizabeth right girlfriend you know sometimes we are just overthinking everything and we are not thinking about what I even have to accomplish tomorrow but sweetheart if you can sleep get some sleep before a reading that's fantastic be well rested get plenty of water I know I lecture that all the time and we all try to get our water in but seriously you want to be hydrated you want all of your system operating on full go right right that makes sense and I know you might not like to hear this but meditate oh there's that M word 
but really, even if it's just two minutes, even if you're just getting centered, focused, two minutes, set the timer on your phone. It's so easy to do. Just set your timer and two minutes. Focus on your breathing. Focus on like the tip of your nose. Focus two minutes. It'll calm down. You'll be in the zone. Okay, now that's what you're going to do before the reading. We've already gotten three tips that are going to get you to this point. Now we're sitting there. If we're about to sit our booties down at the reading. Number four, tip number four. Hi, Katie. The tip number four says, shh, because we're getting you to be ready. We're getting you tuned in. We're getting you dialed in. So your intuition is saying, yes, I want to be with that person. Something maybe doesn't feel right. You're going to listen to that intuition so you don't sit down with the wrong person. That'd be horrible. If you intuitively know that is not the right person, you're not going to get the messages that you are meant to be hearing. What if you were really meant to go sit over there and they were going to be able to share all of this great stuff of the things that you're supposed to be doing during Mercury retrograde, which is coming up. You'd want to know that, right? I know. I know. Okay. Number five. Yay. Be open. Now, what do I mean about being open? Because you're already open. You're already going to see a psychic. You know that you're open. What I'm talking about is clients in the West Coast love for me to just give a reading. They don't want any tools, nothing. They just want to hear it straight out. But clients on the East Coast and in the Midwest, Midwest goes both ways, but clients on the East Coast, they want something. They want to see it. They don't want to feel weirded out that you just have this download like where is that coming from how does she know that is she reading my mind no but if you are open to seeing someone maybe using cards maybe someone using crystals seriously I had one of the best readings when they had just said pull some crystals the ones I pulled evidently were so informative and I'll tell you something sometimes if someone is really nervous it's a client of mine I'll just have them shuffling cards just to get them distracted so that they relax and open up. Use what you need to, but also be open. Okay, I hope I write this number right. Number six. Sort of, yeah. Number six. <laughs> For your reading, you've sat down. I want you to be reading or ready. <laughs> Sorry. Be ready. Be ready for your reading. And what do I mean by that? Well, I want you to have your list of questions ready. I want you to be able to tape record it and have it ready. Maybe you want to tape record on your phone. Find out how to operate your voice memo. Have your list of questions ready and take a cleansing breath. Have pen and paper ready. Know it's going to work. And while you're getting it out of your purse, go ahead and get relaxed. This is your time. Take those moments to begin with so that you feel comfortable because if your intuition is saying this isn't the right place for me, you're going to listen. Honestly, I have had to turn away some people because it just didn't feel right. And I believe that as clients, they appreciated it because they were able to go and find someone else who would have probably been a better match for that reading. But the clients that I do get to read, we form a relationship. This is ongoing and sometimes it becomes a wonderful friendship. So if that person is icky, do you really want a friendship with them? Uh, no, say no, just say no. That's one of those things. Now, number seven, this is after the reading. I'm going to have you journal. I know, I know I have you journaling all the time, but this is really important. Don't go too far without jotting down those notes from the entire experience. Were your questions answered? Were things really clarified? What impression did you feel? Like emotions, did that make you feel better? Did that make you feel kind of concerned? Did it not just make you happy? Maybe it made you sad. Write all those things down because there is stuff to that and you'll understand later on because you're going to ask for clarification in the next step. Now, number eight, I want you to go. Now, all those things that you just wrote down, now you're looking for the signs. That's the, I saw the sign. There's a heart and there's a check mark. What kind of symbols come through? Well, there are all, sort, all sorts of symbols that come through. So all of a sudden you might see a butterfly. You might have a hummingbird that suddenly comes out of nowhere. Maybe it's just pennies on the ground. Maybe there's a feather right there, an angel feather. 
Look for those signs, please, because it could come across the radio station. It could come across right there in front of you on that car license plate. But if you're not looking for it, you're going to miss it. So please keep looking for it. Hi, Phyllis. And number nine, physical feedback. What are you physically, intuitively telling yourself? Girl, if you are not having a good gut feeling about this whole thing, it's probably not accurate. It's probably something off. It might be just not the right reading for you at the time. <clears throat> what if it doesn't sit right? And when I say that, it means literally, it's like you're, you can't get comfortable, like your whole body is just not comfortable. It's just not sitting right. Now, this is the hard part. When you are going through that, you must decide, is this uncomfortable because I'm afraid to hear it or because it's my ego involved and I don't want to hear it. Now, you've already done those steps after the reading. You've journaled it. You've given you a gut check. So now you're going to decide, is this the right thing for me or am I just not wanting to hear because egotistically, it doesn't feel good or I want to beat myself up or I'm not ready to accept great things in my life. Oh, sweetie, you all deserve so many great things. And let me tell you, if you are tuned into this, whether it is live or even later, you are ready to have those blessings. And number 10, have fun. Oh my gosh, come on. It's a reading. Enjoy it. Be playful. This is not a brain surgery type of thing. This is a time really, truly, at the end of the day, to enjoy. You are intuitive. You have a sixth sense. You know that. Listen to it. I'll tell you, it's hard to give a reading to yourself. I've tried it many times. And yes, you will have that insight. Yes, you can listen to that. Yes, you will have signs. Yes, you will get that confirmation. But sometimes it's just so nice hearing it confirmed by someone else. Trust your intuition when you're going for a reading because if it doesn't feel right, it probably isn't it. Ultimately, you have the last laugh. It is up to you. You have free will. That reader is human. It's just what they're seeing at that time. They're not a mind reader. Remember that. They're just giving you a reading as it is at that time. You can time change the time frame. You make a difference. You have that power. Oh, darling. You are simply amazing and you are self-sufficient, intuitive. You are a sassy goddess. Girl, it is your time to shine. Please, whether it's celebrating National Psychic Week, whether it's celebrating Happiness Happens Day, which is today, whether it's just enjoying, it's a Tuesday. This is your time. I am so excited for you. If you're tuned in, you know it's happening. You can already feel it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for sharing. If you like this video, please share it with other people that you think might enjoy it, might benefit. If you haven't already, please like my Facebook page. If there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. Please message me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks so much. Have a great day.